obviously something a little bit different today. I wanted to show you guys how I did this Art Deco Gatsby inspired makeup look. I have always loved the design and architecture of this era and I wanted to recreate it on my face. You know, as you do. So uh, let's get into it. Them is action eyebrows. So starting off with my foundation, I'm just going in and evening out the skin tone and all that jazz. Guys, I'm totally warranted in singing that song this whole tutorial. So I'm going in with my NYX eyebrow pencil just to mark out and sketch out where I'm going to put that filigree on my forehead. For this, I basically just looked up some Art Deco reference photos and went from there and made my own design. And you're done. I'm just kidding. I told you it wouldn't be one of my tutorials without that joke at least once. So for this, I basically just tried to keep everything as symmetrical and identical as possible. Obviously, it doesn't come out that perfect, but, you know, as long as the lines are pretty much straight, I was happy with it. Also, during makeup applications like this, I pretty much instantly hunch over and become a golem. Just a, uh, just a warning for you. Once I decided that was good enough, I went in with this gold eyeshadow wand, I guess you would call it, and went over those traced lines. I wasn't too, too worried about the preciseness of this part because I knew that I was going to go back in with my eyeliner and fix the edges and lines and clean it up. So this was more or less just getting that base color down that I could build off of. And then I just had to wait for it to dry. Meanwhile, show off some moves that would make me the life of any Gatsby party. Next, I went in with my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner and did the work. I went over all these lines and defined them, cleaned them up, hunched over like a golem yet again. Hold on, let me just fix that for ya. This part was very satisfying to see it starting to come together. So I'll let you enjoy a little time lapse. Here you go. That was all done I decided I wanted to go in and add a little bit more interest by adding some lines to make it seem more like a headpiece. Along with some more little focal points. So I'll come back to that later but now I'm just going to do my beauty makeup and starting with that NYX eyebrow pencil again, just making those thin little 20s eyebrows. And then going in with an eyebrow pomade, just to define that. Next up, I primed my eyelids. Then I went in with a gold eyeshadow. This is obviously how the professionals do it. And I kind of just wanted to give that exaggerated eyeshadow look that the 20s and 30s had. And then put some on my lower lid as well. And smoke that out. And then repeated it on my other eyeball. My eye, my eyeball. Then I went in and did the cat eye with the epic ankle eyeliner. I wanted to make this nice and dramatic and I wanted to carry through some extra lines kind of to mirror that Art Deco style at the top. I'm not in love with how this part came out, but that's okay. I carried that through to the inner corner of my eye just because I always think that looks really cool. And then tried to add some more visual interest by doing these little dotted lines on my lower lid. I don't know. I then went in with a darker gold eyeshadow just to kind of blend out those eyeliner lines and make it not as stark and just kind of give everything a little bit more depth. And then I added glitter, because why not? 
Next up, I took a brown eyeshadow and wanted to add some dimensionality to the headpiece. So I added some shadows where it would realistically hit my forehead and just really helped to make it look three dimensional as opposed to just painted on my forehead. I also went in and added some shadows where the metal would realistically meet each other. And again, it just added some dimensionality and I think helps sells it. Next, I went in with that gold eyeshadow again, and I know you're not supposed to use it as a lipstick, but I did anyways. <laughs> Oops. And then I went in with a darker red and kind of blotted it out like they would in the 20s. But then I decided I didn't really like that, so I went with a more structured look. So I gave myself these sharp Clara Bow-esque lips, and then added a beauty mark because again, why not? And then I went ham with the blush. decided I was missing something. So like any normal person, I decided to add a neck piece as well. So I repeated the same steps that I used for the headpiece, except now on my neck, which I will tell you got a little bit difficult around the sides. So just like the headpiece, it was time to outline it with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And time lapse time. So again, like the headpiece, I went in and added that three-dimensionality with a brown eyeshadow just to sell the illusion. To finish up the look, I added a little bit more gold to the eyes, which I really think helps with the overall look. Applied my mascara to the upper and lower lashes. Added some last minute details on the neck piece, and then decided my lips weren't Queen Amidala enough, so I took care of that real quick. And that is it. Insert sassy montage here. I know this video is something a little bit different, but I had a lot of fun, and I hope that you guys like it. And I love you all, whether you're new or old to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!